Hello! Today I'm going to show you how to sew courgettes, marrows and pumpkins. Basically, because they come from the same family, the curcupids, they get sewn in exactly the same way. So I'm not going to show you all of those because that's just silly. I'm just going to show you one. Now I like to grow a variety of uh, courgettes. I'm growing some yellow ones this year which are actually quite stripy. They're called Grillo Mix and they're, they're sort of about that sort of size and they some of them are dark green, some light green and some yellow which is great. And uh, I'm also growing some courgettes, which are the, the normal green ones that we usually grow. And I also like to grow uh, a nice selection of pumpkins, because pumpkins are fun. Pumpkins are cool, and I still want to grow a massive one. Haven't quite got there yet, but I will one day. One day I will grow a huge one, and I will be so proud. So um, what I'm going to show you today is one of the varieties of pumpkins I'm growing is called polar bear. Now these are white pumpkins and they do grow apparently to about 15 kilos, but we'll soon see about that. Now courgettes, marrows and pumpkins you can sow directly out into the ground. I have tried this and I tend to find that the germination rate if you do that is quite low. The seeds, even though they're quite large, they do tend to get sort of lost. It's like putting a, a tiny baby, a brand new, you know, newborn baby into a queen size bed. It just looks wrong. And it's, it's very difficult for the little seeds to sort of cope with all the big soil. So I usually sow mine and start them off slightly earlier and start them off in the greenhouse. Now the perfect time to sow your pumpkins, courgettes and marrows is any time really between March and April. Some of them you can go all the way up to, to sowing in May. That's under cover. If you want to sow them outside directly into the soil, then I would suggest you leave sowing until the beginning of May. So you can either sow them in a tray in your greenhouse or you can sow them in a three inch pot. I have sown them in three inch pots before and they do very well, it gives them a lot of space to grow but if some of them don't germinate then you've wasted all of that compost. So what I do is I will sow mine in a seed tray and then when they get about an inch to an inch and a half tall I will then transplant them into a three inch pot and that way I haven't wasted a load of compost. Compost can be expensive so I'm going to put the three inch pot over there because we're not going to use it today. We're just going to sow them in a seed tray so let me show you how I'm going to do that. So here is my seed tray. Make sure that there are drainage holes in the bottom of it and all I'm going to do is I'm going to half fill it with multi-purpose compost. Make sure it's all nice and level and you've pushed the compost into the corner and you've broken up any lumps that you come across. Once you've spread it out, give it a gentle pat down with your knuckles, just like that. Now, we need to sow the seeds. Now, pumpkin seeds, and even if you're doing squashes, if you're doing butternut squash, um, if you're doing the spaghettis, any of those, these need to be sown in exactly the same way. The seeds all look very, very similar, but they do vary in size. If you're growing, say, an Atlantic giant, they are massive seeds, huge seeds. If you're growing some varieties of, of squash, then they will be smaller. They're usually beige in colour like this, but sometimes they're slightly darker and sometimes they're slightly lighter. I won't be sowing all these seeds today. I think I'm only going to sow five of these, but there is a very specific way of sowing them. 
just going to put those ones that I don't want there. So as I'm going to sew five, I'm going to do one here, one there, one there, one there, and one slap bang in the middle. So they've got lots of space to grow. Now you don't want to sew your seed flat like that because the water will land on the top of it and it might sit on the top of it and then it will rot. Now if you look at the seed, then you can see there's this sort of dumpy end. There's the pointy end and there's like a dumpy end. Now this dumpy end, that is where the root comes out and where the shoot comes out. So you want to sew it on its side like this. Don't sew it pointing the dumpy end down. If you're not sure which is the dumpy end and which is the pointy end, then sewing it on its side like this is you, you can't go wrong. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the seeds in the soil like that. Just push them down just a little bit so it stops them from falling over. Okay, and you can see that they are, I've planted them down so they're not flat like that, they're like this. All I'm going to do then is I'm just going to cover them with a bit more multi-purpose compost right to the top of the seed tray. Now these can be about an inch underneath the compost. If you're sowing them in a three inch pot, just push them down about an inch. If you're sowing them directly outside in the ground, I would suggest that you push them down at least two inches. So once you've covered them with compost, just gently level it off and pat it down. And all I'm going to do now is I will label it and then I will give it a water. So there they are. I just need to give it a water, but I've put a label in it and I will put these in the greenhouse and hopefully in about two weeks time, maybe slightly less. It just depends on how the seeds feel, what the temperature's like outside and hopefully in about two weeks they'll start the the compost on stop on the top will start to move and then the pumpkins will start to uh, pop through or the seedlings will start to pop through the soil make sure that you water regularly especially if it's really hot outside because if you overwater then the seeds might rot but if you underwater then the the sort of the the seeds won't develop properly and if they've started to shoot and you don't water then that shoot will die. So it's watering little and often. So I'll keep an eye on these and when I then transplant them into three inch pots I will show you. Well I hope you found that useful and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye bye.